So today, um, I started using Blickman Rims Rocket. I've seen lots and lots of configurations of how people have, uh, you know, built setups for mounting it. Blickman itself has a nice uh, rack that you can uh, attach it to and all that stuff. I happen to have a a dryer rack that I used when I used to bottle beer and it sat perfectly on it uh, with nice little hole at the bottom and all that stuff so this is how I, this is how I arranged it uh, it was a big mess today you can't see anything right now but like everything leaked out of it partly due to my own error uh, I didn't tighten these uh, things tight enough same here um, because it's a silicone heat it didn't work out very very well and I ended up having to clean a whole bunch of shit um, that said uh, now it's attached to my SS Brewtech infusion um, I have my Blickman pump riptide pump here uh, you know now and then it leaks probably because of something not being tight enough or not sitting well enough so um, I put it on top of a grill uh, grate and then a Home Depot bucket so it leaks in or uh, anytime I accidentally have to fix shit and like open things it just leaks right nicely in there and I don't have a mess on the floor a um, couple of things about the infusion tank uh, it works fairly well and I really like the design the tolerances the tightness uh, I have zero complaints uh, the only complaint I have is this piece here this thermometer that uh, Brutex supplies you with for most of them I'm not sure if there's an off button for it maybe I haven't figured it out but <laughs> I can't turn it off for life of me uh, unless I take the batteries out so if I forget to do this my next brew day which is two weeks from today uh, that will all be drained so that's the biggest complaint I have about that design it's kind of have an off button and these days that seems pretty standard for even a ten dollar um, Chinese made watch or thermometer but somehow it doesn't have that one so first impressions this works really well I only had to run it for um, a few minutes to get my target temperature in the mash um, what I sort of don't like about it is it's the awkward shape of it uh, and the way you have to mount it and the other thing is when I run it and I want to stop the pump right here the way I have it set up the amount of liquid that's sitting in here I can't get it in there so I have to drain it back down here and then dump it back in there so um, it's just I don't know maybe maybe I am not arranging it right enough maybe it needs to be upside down and and high enough for something like that but uh, yeah anyway so it, it, it didn't quite work out uh, in draining it automatically for me except doing it that backwards ass way maybe in next few iterations I might end up uh, figuring out the most optimal way for it but for now it is what it is